you see he is uh, tying up the pb ropes giving and uh, the two twists and it is installed now Hello, Assalamualaikum. I'm Dr. Muhammad Sajad from Pakistan. Uh, I'm standing in a cotton field uh, in Punjab district Sahiwal, along with our companion farmers and friends. The special thing you are seeing in my hands is called the PB ropes, pink bollworm ropes, or the sex pheromone traps for the pink bollworm, Pectinophora gossypiala. Uh, they are very significant tool and very effective tool in integrated pest management, I mean IPM of pink bollworm. Pink bollworm have become a nuisance in Pakistan, especially even across the borders, uh, especially after the introduction of uh, BT cotton. Uh, these uh, PB ropes, these are the special structure, they contain a gossip lure or the female lure inside. I will explain everything in this video like how is the, this structure which is called the pb ropes how it functions on what principle of nature it functions and how it control or how it helps in lowering the population of pink bollworm then how to install it in the field what is the method of installation where and when to install and how much duration of its efficacy is uh, much uh, helpful now starting from uh, the gossip lure. This is the lure dispenser or the PB rope. You see a plastic tube. It may be in red color, sometime in blue color, sometime in white color. In my hand you are seeing it in yellow color. It's a plastic uh, covering. It contain the female pink bollworm, female smell, fragrance or uh, sex pheromone inside it that is artificially prepared synth synthetically produced what happened when in nature what happened in nature the male adults of pink bollworm they track they trace they track the female adult through the fragrance or the lure released by the female pink bollworm they follow that fragrance and reach the female mating happen and then female lays the fertile eggs from which the larvae emerge uh, hatch out and they start feeding or otherwise damaging our crop now the scientists have uh, discovered a technology of based on this principle of nature they have artificially produced this lure of fragrance of female of pink bollworm in labs which have been, no, been industrialized. That artificially produced lure or smell of female pink bollworm is contained inside this plastic tube. Then it's provided a metallic wire inside so that we can bend it easily then tie up with the cotton plant. Now how to install these PB ropes in the uh, cotton field? Uh, we will uh, install about 120 PB rows per acre with the installation geometry of 18 into 20 foot. After a distance of 18 feet, we will place one PB rope on one plot, plant and then after 20 feet, we will place another PB rope on the other plant. In this way, total 120 PB ropes will be installed in one acre. What will happen, how they will function, they will release the artificial smell that is rather more stronger than the original female pink bollworm smell, pheromone or sex pheromone. 
they release that smell into the atmosphere the male adults they get confused they uh, they understand it as the smell of the female so they get confused instead of reaching to the uh, uh, female actually they reach these the uh, pb ropes tied with the plants so uh, ultimately mating could not happen the female lays eggs that are infertile they could not hatch into larvae so our crop remains safe from the pink bollworm in this way these pb ropes they help in lowering the population of pink bollworm below the etl now i will demonstrate uh, zafar sir please can you come forward how to install these uh, pb ropes into with the plants uh, my colleague and friend uh, will demonstrate how to tie up or install these pb ropes with the plants please show in uh, zoom you see he is uh, tying up the pb ropes giving uh, the two twists and it is installed now the efficacy of this lure is for three months after three months if the need is uh, again there or the pink bull worm infestation is there then this can be refreshed uh, try to have a bigger uh, cotton field like minimum 50 acres so the density of this uh, lure gossip lure can act effectively in this way we can uh, reduce the environmental stress due to the blind use of pesticides which are uh, hazardous to environment and even they kill the beneficent insects the uh, insects that are friend to the farmer like uh, chrysoperla green lacewing ladybird beetle uh break on these uh, eat the efforts and jesser almost 350 efforts are jesser per day are eaten by a single ladybird beetle or the green lacewing we kill our uh, friends or the farmer friend through the uh, indigenous uh, uh, in blind spray of pesticide that is not a healthy approach otherwise we use uh, op group pesticides uh, parathrite to control the pink bollworm but the issue is that after hatching the larvae they enter the bowl within 20 to 30 minutes and there is no pesticide in world so far that can control the larvae inside the bowl so the population go increasing the pb ropes it's the most effective tool in controlling the pink bollworm population and lowering the population below etl level thank you